Do you want to get Steam VR and your Oculus Quest 2 and 3? In this video, I have multiple methods for you, and hopefully this helps. So yeah, let's get right into it. The first method is Steam Link. I'm using it right now, and it's free. You just have to have a PC to connect to, and boom, you can get mods and everything. So I'll show you how to do it right now. So first, you're going to download and install Steam on your computer. Once you download and install Steam, make an account if you haven't already. After you d have done this, you're going to install Steam VR. You would do this by searching up Steam VR on the Steam Store and downloading and installing. Now that you've done this, you're going to go back to your VR and you're going to install Steam Link. Steam Link is a free app that basically just syncs your computer with your headset. After you download and install Steam Link, it might make you sign in to Steam, but once you've done that, all you have to do is connect to your computer and make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi if it's not working. And boom, just like that, you can get into Steam VR. My next method is directly taking your headset and plugging it into your computer. So first, you need to install the Oculus app on your computer. So if you take your headset, plug it right into your computer like so, you will be in the Oculus Link. And essentially from there, you can use any Steam VR games that you want. Oh, I didn't see you there. Anyways, our last method is going to be virtual desktop. This one does cost $25, but it does come with the most features. And, and I quite enjoy it, so let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to download and install it off of the Oculus Quest store. You can do it on your VR, your mobile, whatever. Next up, you're gonna go to your computer. You're gonna install the Virtual Desktop Streamer app. Then you're gonna put in your Quest username into the streaming app. And I mean, that's essentially it. To essentially give you the rundown of Virtual Desktop, if you click your menu button on your left controller, that will open this whole menu where you can change how your room looks, you can find your games, you can find literally everything. And this is also where you can change settings. You can also do it on your computer. Now it is glitchy at times, but it does recommend that you plug both your headset and your PC into ethernet, but it is not necessary. I hope I was able to help you guys today. Um, I had a lot of fun making this. I really wanna thank you guys for all the support on the last one of these videos I made. Um, that really, really helped me. And I really appreciate it guys. Thank you, and please subscribe.